Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are playing the 2010 World Cup game again. Surprise, 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 surprise. But we're not doing it with Scotland. Don't worry, we're not doing it with Scotland. We're going to do a random World Cup because I figured I've done a lot of requests and I figured uh, it's time to do a random nation now. And especially uh, towards the mid middle of December, like Christmas, I've got a lot of um, special videos planned, like the subscriber World Cups, and I've got uh, an, a series that I want to do, a special series for you guys to say kind of thank you sort of thing so I really hope you are, you will enjoy it um, also I want to do the video that if you watch my South Africa gameplay um, there's special commentary on this game and I figured I want to just do that video and just get that out as quick as possible um, because it's interesting to hear the special commentary you don't hear the commentary on my gameplays that loud because I turn it down but um, I might do like a compilation sort of all, of all the uh, special commentary in the game. Let's randomize it and uh, have a look. We've got St. Kitts and Nevis, so I reckon what group are we going to go in? Maybe Group D? I reckon it's going to be unkind to put me in there. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, so it's either going to be F, H, or G. Oh, it's in F with Holland, Nigeria, and El Salvador. Okay, I'm up for the challenge. All right then. El Salvador versus St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, I played as El Salvador before. Um, I'll try and put that in the video if you want to see it. I have played as them, and um, it was a decent video to be fair. Um, it was a request by some of your fans, so if you want to go and check that out, you can do. I'm expecting a exactly a football footballing lesson from every single one of these nations that I'm playing against. Um, uh, world class is super hard. It can be, but if you nail the techniques down. It doesn't help that I'm a one, well, half a star team. So quick passing is the name of the game, and I just passed it straight to El Salvador. Why are you passing so wrong? Stop it. So Kits and Nevis never qualify for the World Cup, of course. Um, don't think they've done much in um, like the way of Caribbean football. I hope that you guys are enjoying the regular ish content. I know I don't upload every day. I don't feel it I don't feel it's necessary to upload every day, but I try and upload every other day or uh if not every week at least. Oh my god, I'm not gonna catch this guy, am I? Oh, okay, he just slowed down. But we are making progress here. You need to header it. Oh, unlucky. Oh my god, he almost backheeled it into the net. Can you believe that? St. Kitts and Nevis pulling off that. Oh my god. That was crazy by St. Kitts. I can't believe they actually almost tried that. But yeah, we almost went 1-0 up then. If I went 1-0 up in that fashion, cool, that would have been a great start to the, the, the World Cup for them, wouldn't it? Hello. Oh no. Well, at least we got a good play going on there, but... No, it wasn't to be. Maybe I should have just like ran for on goal when I had the chance. All right, so it's half time and it's nil nil. Very surprising, to be honest, on this difficulty and um, with a one, well, basically a half star team. That makeup is so cool. <laughs> That's actually so cool. They're gonna cross it in. Goalkeeper flaps at it, but we'll get it. Wait, is that offside or what's going on? I thought. I hope. I was kind of hoping it wasn't a pen. Get it? What the hell is going on there? What did he do there? What kind of goalkeeping was that? That was terrible. Like, that's probably the worst I've ever seen. It was literally bouncing towards him. He went, oh, just touched it a little bit. Whoops. Touched it. Whoopsie. <laughs> that feels a little bit scripted. If they score this, that's scripted. Go on. Oh my god, that was so close. By St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Kitts and Nevis holding on. Holding on. A little bit of a lucky deflection. Okay, we got him. No. Okay, that was weird. He wouldn't latch onto the ball. They pass it back to the goalkeeper, who basically pings it to me. Let's have a shot. Why not? Oh my god, the goalkeeper's not there. The goalkeeper's not there. Where was he? Where was he? Moses Garvey with the goal. Where was the goalkeeper on that play? Oh no! That's a calamitous error. We've had two calamitous things on this game. We've had the my goalkeeper punching out for a call. Where was the goalkeeper? Oh, he fell over! He fell over! And he couldn't get back in time! That's brilliant! That's amazing! Into the open goal it goes and it's 1-0! Look at that! That was so stupid! 
<laughs> oh, I'm going to love world-class difficulty if it's like this all the time. We are on to something now. We have got 10 minutes to hold on. Come on, St. Kitts and Nevis. Okay, what are they going to do? Okay, they got into this guy. Oh, we tackled him. Can we boot it away? Yes, 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 yes. Our first win on World Class. Nice one. And it was, it was a lucky win. Trust me, that was so lucky. Uh, imagine, just like their goalkeeper. When I shot that shot, I thought the goalkeeper would be in, in kind of the position to sort of save it, maybe palm it out. But I never expected him to not be there. The next game is against Nigeria. This is going to be an interesting one, I think, because I've played Nigeria in the past and they've been quite awkward um, to play against. Of course, they're one of the best African teams at the World Cup, but hopefully the W that I got will um, help us. This is going to be a real test of St. Kitts' nerve and everything. It's going to be a real test because obviously you know, Nigeria are a four-star team. I'm only a, a half-star team. El Salvador are about a two and a half, maybe. Um, so, yeah. Uh, to hold out like that, I was, I, was, I was pinning for the draw and I got that lucky win. So, yeah, great stuff. But to play Nigeria, you know, I don't know about this one, guys. But I'm in a good position at the moment. Run, Harris, run. He's actually quite free down here. Maybe we can do something if we just whip it in. No, the guy wasn't in space. No, oh, that was great defending. He could have gone for the header there, and it um, paid off for us. Oh, he just took too long. I was like, yeah, I'll sweat it. Why not? And it didn't work the way I wanted to. Oh, a little bit of a... What the hell? He just, like, like flicked it towards my goal. Imagine if he actually scored that. What an absolute piss take that would have been. Oh, that's a good ball, and my defence are nowhere to be seen. Good cross. Header, no. Okay, it might be half-time now. It might be half-time. We've done well in this World Cup with St. Kitts. I think they've, um, they've come to play. They really want to um, make an impression at this World Cup, and I don't blame them. They've already got three points. So, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just keep the momentum going. If we can get a draw against Nigeria, that puts us in a really good position to... Um, qualify at the group stage, which I'll take on my first playthrough and well class typically. But what I will not take is the referee getting in my way like that. God damn it. Get it, goalkeeper? Yes. Some, somehow he managed to keep that on. I thought he was going to mess it up and, uh, you know, go out for a corner or something. But we still are here in this World Cup. We're still in it. Yes, a draw. A draw against Nigeria. We, we frustrated them because they were all over us and we just held on. St. Kitts and Nevis are unbeaten at this World Cup. How about that, guys? Alright, so we've got Holland for our next game. Nigeria um, draw against us, obviously, so they got one point. So if they win in their next game, which they probably will against El Salvador, then they might go through. El Salvador are out. Um, Holland have got six points. So yeah, um, it really depends on how many I concede and how many Nigeria score. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Let's have a look at the other groups. So it looks like Sweden and Tanzania at the moment are going through. Tanzania are doing well in that group there. But I have a feeling that... Um, Cameroon could sneak in there. Group H, uh, Spain and Turkey have basically gone through. That's um, all said and done. Uh, in this one, Group A, Bosnia and England have gone through. Scotland and Congo have gone out. Chile and the United States have gone through in that one. Group C, Italy and Denmark. Uh, Czech Republic and Germany in Group D. Portugal and Ireland, yet to play. Um... In that one, Uzbekistan and Gambia could have an outside chance, maybe, especially Uzbekistan. If they win their next game, possibly. I don't. I'm not sure, but it's going to be hard. And then obviously our group again. Okay, this is going to be the main test: Holland versus Saint Kitts and Nevis. But you know, if I do get knocked out here, I wouldn't mind to be honest, because we got a great win against El Salvador, a good draw against Nigeria. 
and um, you know, losing against Holland, it, there's no shame in that. There's no shame in that at all, especially from St. Kitts' side as well. Even if I get a goal against Holland, that would be so good. Okay, well, oh my god! That was a hell of a save by the keeper. I, I messed up big time there. I rolled it to Cal accidentally because I didn't put enough power on it, and he saves it. What a save by Benjamin. Like, come on, guys. Like, Benjamin has to be considered for the, the not the goal, maybe not the Golden Glove Award in this, but, you know, the goalkeeper of the tournament. Surely, already. Like, he's made so many good saves. You need to, like, you know, appreciate the greatness. Okay, Nigeria are beating El Salvador now, which was to be expected, to be fair. But in the current position I'm in, a draw would be enough to bring me through out of the group stage and into the round of 16, um, which will be amazing for St. Kitts, obviously. Never, ever been there, and obviously on world class as well. All right, so it's half time, and it's 0-0. Uh, Surprising result for both sides, really. Holland should be beating me, and I shouldn't be um, drawing, but... I don't know. I guess when this, if this match actually happened in a World Cup, I bet a lot of people will be rooting for St. Kitts. A lot of people. Even if you're a Dutch fan, you'd kind of be like, mm, well, I kind of hope they do well against us. No, why would you let that in? I didn't expect that to go in. Dirk out. Oh, well, it took him 60 minutes to score. I mean... I mean, I guess that's an achievement for us. Our goalkeeper was kind of a little bit off the line when the, the cross came in. I don't know why he just let that in. That was a bit of a weird one, considering he saved quite a good good load of uh, shots. Oh, just out of his reach. So unlucky, man. Now we're losing. Nigeria could go through, but the goal difference is still in our favour, I think. I think, anyway. But, okay, Nigeria got a second, so that brings the goal difference down to... Uh, I think one or something like that. Holland are going to get their second now because I couldn't clear the goal. So now it's even, I think. I think if my maths is correct, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, that was such a bad mistake. Such a bad mistake. Literally, I just like crossed it out and I should have looked while I was passing it really. But yeah, just a bang average goal really. I mean, you're going to score that against the... Okay, El Salvador has helped us out because Nigeria had conceded. If we can help ourselves out by getting a goal against Holland, if they stop diving about every time I go near them, like, why would you do that against St. Kitts? Look at that. Every tackle I put in, they're like, yep, definitely going to trip over that. It's like, really, Holland? Okay, so it's 2-2. Two -two. El Salvador have given us hope. And that's what we like to see. Oh, I went for the shot there and he didn't shoot. Nice one. Nice game. Nice. Oh, now it's 3-2? What the hell? They literally scored directly after, but the goal difference has helped us. The goal difference is helping us a lot. Um, ref, where's the foul? If I get a goal, it would definitely help. We need someone to run. We need someone to make a really good run, and that's the run I was kind of looking for. Yes, we scored! We scored against Holland, and it's 2-1. Moses Garvey, that man again, he picks up the ball to run to the centre circle. We don't know if we're out yet. We don't know the math. It's like confusing me. It's confusing me big time. I don't understand it. But we got the goal and that's that helps us. That helps us. And to go out against... If we went out at this stage and um, sort of, you know, with a goal against Holland, that's really good. Really good. I was kind of waiting for that opportunity all game and it happened at the 90th minute. How annoying is that? All right. So what's going to happen here? So they're a little bit disappointed that they lost, but there's no indication that they've actually been knocked out yet. Um, because I can't hear anything. I can't hear the commentary. So we're just going to go into it. Nigeria beat El Salvador 3-2. They got three goals but conceded two. Oh, no. I got knocked out. Oh, no. Oh, that result killed it. I need to have a look at the table. I had two for two. But because Nigeria scored three and conceded two, they had a, their against was bigger, but their four was bigger. So obviously, I um, lost out on that one. Ah, oh, that was so unlucky. Such a good run, though. Like, it, I know I didn't um, get out the group stage, but it was still a good run because there was so much that happened in that video because of the world-class difficulty. Italy won on penalties against England, and uh, Spain and Sweden, we don't know that matchup. 
Um, let's have a look at the tables then. So we've got Bosnia beating Chile, Italy beating Czech Republic, Portugal beating Nigeria, Spain smashing Cameroon, and then Italy went on to beat Bosnia, Portugal lost against Spain, uh, England beat USA 3-2, Germany beats China 2-1, Holland lost against Ireland on penalties, Sweden beat Turkey, uh, Sweden then went on to beat Ireland, England beat Germany 3-1, semi-finals England beat uh, Sweden 4-0, Italy beat Spain 3-2, and then we all know the final. Nice one. Okay, so that was your World Cup, uh, random World Cup with St. Kitts and Nevis. First time on World Class Difficulty. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought it was quite entertaining, to be honest. But if you liked it, then obviously like it. And subscribe if you're new here with notifications on. That would really mean a lot to me. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.